Hello everyone, this is Nexus from Red Diffraction Studio and today I'm going to talk about uh, the most popular and interesting effects you can use with Reshade on your games and here in my example on VCS 2.1 Open Alpha. You will have to tweak and test by yourself of course, but if in this video I will explain it a little bit for you. So here we are in the 18C and I'm going to put Reshade user interface on, so you can see all the effects I'm using. So actually, I'm using Adaptive Sharpen. Here you go. It's not an FPS killer. Ambient Light, to make a more realistic view, like I said in my previous videos. Bloom and Lens Flares, if you are familiar with uh, visual effects, it adds some bloom. As you can see, it's nice in uh, cinematics and cutscenes, but it, it can blind you a lot. Border is a, a border. Adaptive fog, I never tried it, but uh, I guess it's uh, it's like uh, adaptive sharpen, but with a fog effect in the distance. By the way, here is a panel where you can activate or disable the effects and you can uh, put the toggle key for specific effects. And here are the list of the effect settings. So you have to configure it and tweak it when you activate some. So, cartoon is a cartoony effects which replace the textures. Colorfulness make you able to tweak all the color settings of your screen. Advanced CRT, CRT are, if you are maybe old, you know it. It's a previous and old screen system. The big screens uh, we used to use uh, in a long time ago, before plasma and LCD screens appears. As you can see, it makes it awful. Curves is to tweak the um, the colors and uh, the contrast. As you can see here, the difference on my screens. Daltonize is for the guys or women in you who have um, the the high problem, so you can daltonize the uh, colors. You have to configure it. Uh, D band, I don't know yet. Denoise is for, like in Photoshop, it uh, blurries a bit and uh, and uh, disables uh, the picture noise. I know the noise is uh, like sound, but uh, in uh, in here, it's uh, it's an it's an artifact. Like uh, when you record a JPEG uh, picture. You have some noise. It's it's, a, it's an artifact. It, it, it's uh, it's disabling. It. Uh, these are uh, very strange effects. Never tried it. DOF for depth of fields. You can activate it so it varies the distance. You have to configure it. DPX is actually configured for cinematic view. It's like clarity, but uh, like more clear. Empathize is the contrary of uh, vibrance. It's uh, it's, uh, it's going down some color settings. Film grain and film grain two are adding some, like in the old movies, the grains of the pellicle. You are uh, you are seeing it in old movie. Filmic pass is uh, an effect if you want to make cutscenes, you, you will have to configure it too because for now mine is set by default and uh, here you go.
It's like in a movie, I guess. Find Sharp is another effect like Luma Sharpen. Luma Sharpen I'm using here. Uh, sharps by light. But the Find Sharp and ad Adaptive Sharps use... Uh, it sharps everything, as you can see. You can see my FPSs here. I think this is too sharp now. Let's say mod 3. Yeah. FXAA is like the NVIDIA settings. I You should probably not use it because uh, it blurries everything. Gaussian blur is like in Photoshop. It adds a blur filter to the image. High definition rendering. HD air. HDR, excuse me. On and off. Another sharpen effect. This one has to be configured. It can adjust the blurry and sharp threshold to the image. Levels is for the contrast, luminosity and exposure of the of the picture. Lift gamma grain is very useful if you are if you are recording some night footage because it lifts the the artifacts that makes when you have amb ambient occlusion um, between a dark place and uh, let's imagine a place with your uh, a plane set up in the hangar with a light in the hangar and you have some dark places and very light places. So the, the difference between dark and light uh, places is, is uh, made by ambient occlusion. If you put this on and configure it properly, you will not have as the artifact. Light therefore field is the same as therefore field we discussed previously, but uh, maybe let's say lighter. Here we were monochrome LT. Never tried it. Magic Bloom. Like the title say, it's a magic bloom. You don't have to configure it. And this one adapts from the ambient light. Monochrome. You don't have to explain it. Motion blur is adding effects when you are moving on the screen. Or usually in DCS you don't need motion blur. You try to avoid it. But in FPSs, maybe I will make some Star Wars Battlefront videos to show you some other effects. Like this motion blur. I do try the MXAO. Reflective back mapping is to make this happen. We don't have the l enough light to see it, maybe. Watch your ears, I'm gonna be in a external view. Airship from the sun. I don't have it configured, so it's not working, actually. Surface blur is to add uh, just a blur on the surface. Can't see it because I have some sharpen effect actually turned on. Technicolor is adding and uh, I make able, you, you able to tweak some colors like uh, vibrance. Technicolor 2 is the same at the settings. Tilt shift, don't have to explain it to you. Turn map, he said to neutral, but uh, it's like a surface blur. Uh, excuse me, it's like technical rain levels to tweak some color. Vibrance is adding more vibrance to the color. Color are more saturated. And the last one, vignette, is adding a 
a vignette to the picture. So now, this concludes this video. You can subscribe to my channel and check my Facebook page. Every link is in the, my channel description. So, see you on the other side. Goodbye.